Like, I know you want more crit. I wanted to see more crit too, but sadly. That was, that sucks. That. <laughs> it does. I'm sorry, bro. Like, <laughs> that's, that's so disappointing. But, you know, we have quite another staple here. I feel like we always see like him kind of sitting in this spot. And, you know, I feel like Noku, Noku, I like that Noku is such a player of both kind of brackets, the winner's bracket and the losers. He's consistent. Yeah, bro, when he gets knocked into losers pretty, like, getting upset, he is always a loser's warrior. He's like, don't even have to worry about the reset. I'm going to get it. I know who I am. I'm Nick Noku, bro. But look at this, bro. He knocked out of knocked out of winners right before top eight, and now he's guaranteed third. Mm -hmm. De Ban's definitely getting some of that back tonight. But all right, the conversion right. into the back air to the Vine Whip. Trying to hover around for more threat right in that space, but good old Grenade, your best friend. Nice parry, and now up to we'll take it. Wah. Doesn't matter Wah. what kind of meat Charizard is eating, he's not. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Listen, bro, bro now you got to eat Toros meat, bro. Bro ate the grenade and just ate another just good old down smash. God damn. Chin check. All right, why, why, all right, why are you punching the grenade? I know, he, I know he wanted to grab it, but that's just free damage for your like. All right, here we go. We're going to. No, never mind. I'm going to see nah. the big moves. We got bridges. And you can see trying to get the the sec or the third the lane one rather, but he kind of just put, picked up the grenade right in his mouth. And Noku trying to still cover that high from Eliakim, still not able to cover it. We have this pressure kind of going on the shield right now, but Eliakim with the aggressive swing back. I love somehow making the gas jump work for him and able to get back. And you, wow, bro, I just don't know what the hell. Bro, happened. bro, kind of uh, dropped that OS situation. That was free real estate, but it was. But, you know, he's still, he's still in the lead. Yeah, we but got it. lead versus Pokemon Train is a myth. Yeah, and almost dying off that tipper back here, or that tipper vibe up as well. You can see Noku switching out to the Charizard right now and pulling that trigger with the good old back air. He's about knocking on Death's door, I was about to say. Oh, he's tap, tap, tap. It. Oh, uh, uh -oh. Oh, 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 no. I've seen, I've seen this clip before. Oh, no, bro. Ha okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> Listen, uh, you, got to, you just got to keep hanging in, bro. You got to persevere. You got to try him. And Eliakim definitely did come back to the stage, but only to just get bodied for a little more longer by uh, the Noku Ivysaur out here. Oh, my God. The mix of the bullet scene? Bullet scene. That's not something you see a lot. I was kind of saw Wait a second. Eli is showing some signs of life right now, hitting him with the C4, and then just bringing all oh. this back. Oh, he was trying to set up for that tech chase there, but Eliakim. Beautiful up to Noku's trying to like, poke at it through the stage. And Eli just... Yeah. How'd that pick him up? Bro, Rob Dob flopped it. Bro, robbed him. Straight up. Straight up. How, how do you rob this mercenary? Five finger discount. Charizard is such a cheeser character, bro. How do we deal with this character? We don't. How do we deal with it? We don't. You just... We, we suffer. Yeah, we just get overrun. Yes. It, well, technically, you're supposed to put the pressure on and, you know, let uh, prevent bro from cooking. But, um, hmm. doesn't always work out that way. Okay, but going to game two here, we are seeing no changes. I guess we switched up the formula. You know, no Pokemon Stadium, too. We just have Town City. I'm definitely open to seeing some new sites Listen, here. Listen, man, I love it. I love Town. This is my second favorite stage. The stage is beautiful. Uh, fuck second favorite. It's my favorite stage. Yep, I, z I just wish we could choose more different songs out here. Listen. They, they go straight into it. They don't pick KK Rider. They just let whatever, whatever's on the rope, whatever's on the radio go in, man. Oh, oh no. Oh, never mind. Platform saving his life right there. Yeah, not quite getting the DP, but still making out all right. Noku, oh my god, what a catch. What a catch. Hate to see it. Beautiful parry. Throwing him right back off stage as Eli is trying to make short work of Noku off, off the side here. Yep, and there's the attack and whoa, what a phenomenal recovery to get back to stage. And still, Eliakim getting feared, getting the fear put him, sitting in that shield for a little too long. Nick was able to get that grab on in. And not quite getting this back here. Noku is still in the corner, but hold up, a quick throw, gonna change the ties right now. And there we go, there's that conversion off the forward okay, I thought he, I was very scared he was gonna die for that. Yeah, I've definitely seen Noku kill in positions like that multiple times. Many a time. 
Yeah, what they're the, up, man. Once you figure out that combo, Christ. Yeah, one of the things that's so scary about Nick is that he is one of those players that exhibits such a very balanced kind of all states of play Pokemon trainer. Literally, all of his characters, they're all solid, phenomenal, and he plays their advantage states to a T. And the one thing that is also just like I have to always compliment Nick on his combo. He does not drop. Oh, he don't and drop if he does, right. it's very ready. Oh, he don't ball. drop, all right. Christ, he's not dropping. That. Not dropping these combos, not dropping the lead. Ooh, he's probably his nigga. He apparently don't know how to fumble the bag, man. Teach your brother. <laughs> I like him getting shook right now. Definitely has such a sizable lead to kind of just deficit the China comeback from Noku. And Noku trying to make quick work on that shield, but there you go. The good old tip tap toe out of shield. Oh, but Eli's trying to do something. That shit's <laughs> shit so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the, he tried to withdraw the Nikita. Is, nope, second hit. Like, oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, this is Whoa. Jump. What? That's a really good use of the up tilt to just get an anti air up on stage. He's like, you're trying to hover around with the C4, trying to get some schmoovin' going. There is no sauce. Bro, uh, I am going to let you cook in that frying pan here. Oh, damn. Trying to make use of that, and Eli dribbling the grenades this time. Yeah, I'm liking the Vine Whip as stall to kind of just shut down the Lyakim, but Lyakim right now shutting it down with the up tilt. Spot thought up tilt. You got to remember, that's a style dressing special, I'll say. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's the sounds. And Bro plays Mega Man, but he got the Shoryuken. He got the uppercuts unlocked. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, finding his way back down to the stage. Not able to make anything happen yet, though, but the bullet seed coming through again and just sneaking his way in. That mix has been getting so many people tonight, honestly. And it's a really good move because he hits multiple times, and you're not ready for that second one. You're definitely not ready for that second one. Yeah, there it is. So, Noko told me plenty of times, a lot of times the P PTs will fall through up air as a, yeah, as a base. And they will see, it's like, are you going to jump or are you going to press another option? You jumped? Oh, bet. Boom. That's, that's a free move. That's a free move to just play rock against your opponent. Yes. Because they're still in that air. That nair, essentially, when you jump at this game, honestly, when, you're, you're, when your feet are not touching the ground, you're at disadvantage state, bro. You're at disadvantage state. You're, you cannot let your opponent kind of get that situation going against you or you're going to be getting up a game on. Um, but let's see if Eliakim can get a game on the board here. We are in game three. No of loser finals. The way no right now, you can probably take this tournament. Yeah, Last and time. the thing I've kind of noticed about Eliakim, right, is that, bro, he might be running out of a little bit of a steam here because the way that he kind of fumbled that set against Zero Two Nun, Zero Two Nun kind of changed up the game plan a lot and was making really aggressive decisions that Eliakim was really getting oh kind of getting God. caught off guard. And we're seeing the same thing kind of repeat here with yeah. Noku. He's unable to really just, like, I wouldn't say that, but just like change up how he's approaching the matchup. I mean, we saw a little bit of it in game two, you know, signs of life that he's like, he's still, he's still here. He's still able to like perform, Ooh. I guess you could say, right? Yeah, but look, Noku putting in the work right now with four triple the up airs yeah. and the conversion almost off the forward air, but he's still surprised. getting kept at bay here. Okay, a little bit, a little bit lost in his own soft right there, but Nick was. Oh my God. Now he's giving Eli a chance to finally play the game. All right, getting suctioned up by the forward air. And the Kita still keeping Nick at bay here. We have the grenades for a little bit of trap and some little bit of insurance, but oh no, the grenade interrupting the back air. Ooh, there's the up B. It's a classic gonna happen, and then just run up forward air. Nick sitting on three stocks right now, looking pretty. Honestly, that's such a really good aggressive option to just throw out. Your opponent's not going to expect it. They really just want to come back in that situation and look at you. Sitting with all that rage, sitting with all that percentage, and you're playing this good old Charizard out here. Yep. That tilt's not worth not connecting. That C4 just drop and let him rip. Casting Nick pressing on a bunch of buttons. Eli is just like, you know, a little sigh of relief. Like, okay, I got that. And now, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I get that first stop, no matter what percent, I just think, I can do this. I can bring it back. Your win conditions immediately just start clicking. Yeah, but right now, Noku kind of taking this win condition away from Lycan, and this game is slowly slipping away from him. You can see him Price just getting pressured and pressured just, over bro, and over again. It's just been the Noku show. Keeping the camera on him and pushing Eli out of the out of the view. He said, move over, Buckaroo. This is my show. Got that I want that grand final. That and I'm gonna get that grand finals. And there you have it. Noku taking it dominantly over Eli Kim. 
3-0, moving up here to Grand Finals. You already know it's about to be a fight here between 0-2-None 